Welcome to the Something Something Podcast. Yeah. Number four. Um, we are actually joined by more people this time. I'm not all right, by right. myself. So today, today we have uh, Mr. I well, yellow, yellow and Fizzerag joining us. Joining us today for another great podcast. And um, that echo is kind of getting a little yep. annoying now, but it's all right. Although you're watching this in the future, I'd like to give you all a happy Valentine's Day. Well, I'm streaming it, so they're, they're, it's not really in the future. <laughs> well, well, I'm meaning so. like, you know, the people who are watching it, happy Valentine's Day, and then when you upload this in the future, because we recorded this on Valentine's Day, I'm giving those people a happy Valentine's Day. Upload I'll make today. sure I get send uh, all the viewers, um, you know, nice chocolate hearts. And by chocolate, I mean they're covered in shit. Anyways. <laughs> okay, anyways, welcome to the Something Something Podcast, and basically what we're going to be talking about today is uh, a, actually a pretty, I guess, oh god, All right. damn, you have, you have bronchitis or oh, something? I just had a really bad cough, I was eating crackers this morning, freaking my throat was burning, I thought somebody stuck like a freaking lighter in it. Okay, continue, oh. sorry. But... <laughs> And a big thing that's extremely, I guess, talked about, at least what I've seen on uh, social media, is um, the new Call of Duty. Right, right yeah. I think t Martin uh, posted a video and something like that, like, what's going to be the next Call of Duty, like, the scenery, if it's going to be in the past and yep. stuff. A lot of people said World War Two, I think. Yeah, so the topic of the day, or the topic for uh, this podcast for today, is what is going to, is the next Call of Duty, or the next Call of Duty, my bad. Um, it's down to Black Ops 3 or World at War right. 2. I'm down for World at War 2. And... No, I honestly, I think I'm liking Black Ops 3. I mean, Black Ops 2 was such a good game, um, like, especially for competitive. It really brought, like, a lot of people to, like, the competitive scene. As I, I don't know, that's the way I see it. So, but then the World I mean, World at War wasn't bad, but I'm not really a big past guy. I like the future a little bit more, so... But maybe uh, World at War uh, or World at War Two would be different because it's I don't know they it's they have newer technology now so I don't know. Either remaster it or was, right, yeah, get yeah. a new storyline. If I swear to God, if Reznov is not in it, I have some fucking issues. <laughs> He's fucking old as <laughs> shit. Fuck, dude. He can't keep on doing dude, that. Dude, Mason shit. could be. Dude, Mason's an old man in freaking Black Ops Two, and he's still seeing Reznov as he as if he's the same. Step 49. He continues with the steps yes. over and over. But me personally, I actually would prefer. This is just my. This is just me. I would actually prefer a World Perfect. at War two, or at least a remastered World at War. Um, because no offense to anyone that likes no, no offense Asian. I understand that you like the future stuff. Yeah, that's but, all right. That's all right. I'm kind. Of, it's kind of no, getting no, I feel, yeah, yeah. out of hand now. Yeah, Advanced Warfare is mean. kind of like it's getting repetitive. It's there. We used see you, back then we used to only see now. people as dots on our radar. Now we can actually see them as glowing people that are red. Yeah. Future. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would actually much prefer them to go back to like at least. I wouldn't say like I know World of War is just based on like World War II. Oh, so I got it! I got it! I got it! Yeah. This might piss you guys off though, because it's kind of going against what you know we're talking about. World at War Two isn't going back to 1945 World War Two. It's a brand new World War. So you mean like it's World in War the future. Three? Basically, so it's like World, like World War. Th World War III. Basically, <laughs> basically, it's like in it's kind of like in ad the advanced warfare era, you know. So it's there. There's there's a freaking we have we're basically at war. I just I just had this idea because I was and... thinking I was thinking of like you know making fun of advanced warfare. It was like when I saw those Walker tanks in the trailer, I was all, I was stoked, and then when I played the multiplayer, I got pissed off as hell. And then I was thinking about how in, hmm. how in uh, World at War you can actually drive around in tanks and stuff like that. And I right. was thinking of you know world basically like world World at War format in advanced warfare, but with more World at War stuff. Okay. Yeah. Except, weird, except, though. Min like, minus all. Like in like the year 3000, using fucking like. Okay, it's not, like we're, it's not like we're playing. It's not like we're playing Battlefield 2142. 
Yeah, I mean, Mike, uh, if you talk about World War Three, I mean, it sounds like a good idea, but I mean, some countries might be against it because they're portrayed as like the villains, and you know, it's kind of like the well, interview. It's America how... that started it. You oh. know, America! Yeah. Fuck yeah! Ultimate yeah, that's true. We are America. We murder all of you. <laughs> like you had to think about. Yeah, I kind of stuttered right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I guess I was saying like. I don't think there's. They could easily, obviously, call it. They can do whatever right, right. they want. They got money, so they could easily go as far into the future as much as they want. I mean, they could, all, you know, they could like, be like Jurassic some Park age. Jetsons bullshit, dude. I'd play some. I'd play some freaking Call of Duty Jurassic Park warfare. I, I Holy would, crap! I'd you spawn in riding a damn dinosaur with a minigun in your hand. Holy god! Yeah, legit. I'm getting a lot of publicity very um, fast. <laughs> <laughs> like. uh... I was thinking, uh, me and Darius, Fizz, we said that they should make, um, or like they should, like if they did, I'd play it. Uh, make a Call of Duty Medieval Warfare, I'd, I'd play it. That'd be, that'd you know, everybody's like running around with swords and stuff, but everybody's going to be choosing the gun class that, you know, takes 30 minutes to reload. Right, right. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be very, like, chivalry. Chompy I'm still down for uh, Call of Duty Psychological Warfare. You know, where, just, just in a, where the, just in the multiplayer... Room. the the multiplayer is you. Sh <laughs> just like, you're just in a black room, you're sitting like, in a room. All right. You're trying to. You're trying to. You know, see if you're gonna kill yourself or not. That's that's the psychological part of it. It's like I don't know. Uh, do I there, do I like... want to kill myself or do I want to kill all these other guys who are trying to make me stop trying to kill myself? <laughs> As they're trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. They want to kill you. For I mean, killing exception. Did, did you guys like Black Ops too? I mean, I like Black Ops too. I, I love the zombies okay. in it. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'll break it down. I break it down for you because Fizzerek he gets mixed up with yeah, he, uh, yeah. my opinion. Yeah, because first, because first uh, it was like a, it was, it was, was like a love hate. Let, let me let me tell him. Let, let me let me tell him. Let me tell him. <laughs> let me. Sorry, I went to the midnight release. Me me and Josh, we went to the midnight release okay. of Black Ops Two, and I we, we we got the game. We went home. Like like we were we were there. Bread to play it like we were like we were playing it and everything we played it, like we played zombies first pretty sure yeah we played zombies first we're playing it on town and everything and then we decided to go over the multiplayer when I, I noticed like all that bullshit because like it was it's obviously a brand new game hasn't been patched yet hasn't been tested or test, tested by the uh, the public I thought you were gonna say government and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it hadn't been tested by the public or anything so all there was all that new bullshit on there that was overpowered and it's just annoying to die by like. For example, fucking, uh, well, I shouldn't be. I'm a hypocrite for saying this because I use it too. Um, there was a, the B23R. I, I hate the bear so much. I'm not gonna say that, but um, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, the the uh, the FNFAL, like, and you can have select fire on that shit and just go it, go ham, like, cause like when that game came out, like, I'm pretty sure like there's Nuketown mm -hmm. 2025. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh my god, dude, there's just like, a vantage point where you, you could just go at it, just pe just go at people spawns the FNFAL. It's still it's still there too, like. Well, it's not. It technically, it's not the as... FNFAL. It's the FBI. I'm gonna shut up now. Well, I mean, there's. I mean, it's you always glitching. I mean, not glitching. It's always like exploits at the beginning of the game when it first comes out. So, I mean, so you can't really blame that. I mean, I mean, we all make mistakes, and you know, the game developers. I, you know, they're all no. But Call of Duty makes the I most. I mean, they're in a one-year time period. So, I mean, if the, I guess if they extended the time period, I mean, I know you can make games. Their games be a lot better. I know. Uh, took like what three years to make, which is good. Yeah, I mean, it's the, yeah, it's the first. Yeah, it's the first Call of Duty that said. took three years to make right. because they so decided think, to actually think about it. Yeah, I know. There's still so, a shit ton of recycled stuff. If they think about what they what the public wants and what the community like wants, I think they that the next Call of Duty is, is that one get coming out like they've been under development for three years. Is that is that right or is that just? That's what I'm trying to. So I'm trying to figure out. I'm not too really sure, but to, if if it has been. If Black Ops 3 actually did go into development for like three, right. two, three years, that'd be actually, I'd actually go for that. Or I mean, see, that's, see, that's where I they need like... to be like with Halo, where it takes a couple of years to actually right. produce a game. Right, yeah, I was going to say but, that. But Halo has been falling into the Call of Duty thing where, you know, we have to produce a game every two years. Right. Well, at least, well, I mean, did you, have you guys noticed that Halo uh, 5 is kind of like, um, kind of, kind of like Call of Duty because you can kind of have like first person stuff. No, 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 no,
That's for a different podcast. I'm going to get very offended oh by it. All right. Okay. All right. I'll save it for another time. We'll, 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 we'll leave it for, yeah, we'll save it for another time. But if, like, the funny thing is, like, I saw Vondahar tweet, um, or I saw a tweet from Vondahar on Twitter, and they were saying, or he said, he was like, I like, I always like seeing people guess the names of the <laughs> Call of Duty. And, like, he said, like, hash, he said, like, hashtag Iron Wolf, because, like, before Black Ops 2 oh, came out, that's, that's, that's right. what everyone yeah, thought it was yeah. going to be called. They, were going, they thought it was going to be called, like, Call of Duty, like, Operation didn't Iron it, Wolf. Wasn't it supposed to have, like, something, and, like, with Native Americans or something like that? I don't, I have no idea. No, it's not like, Red Dead I'd be Redemption. Down if it was called Iron Wolf. I'd Call of Duty, Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption. Redemption. No copyright yes. intended. The horse. Well, they, are, they already had horses in Black yeah. Ops 2, so. Yeah, they were immune to bullets. I never understood that. <laughs> yeah, but if, but if they did come out with World of War 2, like you said, Fizzerag, but you said like some bullshit where like it's it's world at war but no no no, no. i was saying i was down for that dude i would love to drive a walker tank dude climbing up buildings I'm blowing saying, you like... up while you're screwing your girl teabagging you <laughs> it's not gta it's not gta but, but I, yeah. I i, I want to go I, to be honest like personally i, I just want to go back to the to the whole like world at war See, age yeah the thing is i never had because it's futuristic shit yeah. i saw a i never i saw when I was uh, when I was buying World at War on a uh, PC, there was a customer. There was a single customer review, and I didn't finish reading the entire thing. And it was like World at War, back when, and it was like back when, and it just listed off a ton of stuff. It was like when quick scoping wasn't a major thing, when people wouldn't, or when people actually drove around in tanks, when people actually used specific weapons, when nade launchers weren't overpowered as shit, and all that other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, like for me, I wish that they they they're probably never going to do this ever again unless there's just like extremely high demand for it. And now that our generation is basically no offense to anyone that's a little kid, but our generation is full of little kids. Well, I think games, our generation is mostly consisted of people who have no patience because everything's at their fingertips. They so they expect everything to come yeah. at them straight away. All these, all these rated M games and stuff. There's all these like. Miners playing it, even though we're not obviously. Rated M mature. Like, I think it, mature well, that your parents yeah, rated M for mature. I'm pretty sure. Like, uh, it's either 17 or 18. I'm right, yeah. It was, but. I mean, I never had World at War. Like, the first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2, so I never really got to experience World at War. So I wouldn't mind seeing uh, World at War 2. I'll tell you this, World of War. Yeah, World yeah. Oh I my mean, God, the stories. beginning scene. I remember the first scene of the. Don't ruin it for me. Don't ruin it for me. I, still want I to was play. watching. Hang on, hang on. I was watching a Vanoss video, and they were playing zombies, and like the intro was like World at War. It was like Welcome to World at War. Zombies, and it's like playing this awesome music, and then Vanoss accidentally loads up the campaign, and he's like, Oh crap, this is a campaign, and everybody's like, and then everybody's like, Oh come on, but then you hear freaking. You hear Spoon in the background? Yeah, I love campaign! And all of a sudden, it's playing the same dramatic music, and it's like, Welcome to Call of Duty, or it's like, Welcome to World at War campaign. But then Vanoss points out that he doesn't have any <laughs> audio and stuff like that. So then Spoon, he's like, what the hell? Where's my audio? And then Spoon's like, oh, I got it for you. And he spits blood at the dude, and he's like, You son of a bitch! Take it! And he starts burning the cigar in the dude's face, and you just hear, <laughs> you just hear Spoon freaking screaming his ass off. <laughs> Pain. Like, and all of a sudden he's like, no, don't do it, no! And then he slits his throat, he's like, I'm sorry, it was funny. I'm sorry, that was funny. We have a future psychopath <laughs> right here, guys, um, just be, be aware. Uh, yeah. But, I, they, yeah, like I said, they'll, they'll never do this ever again, but, like, if it's, obviously, if it's like a really high demand for it, I'm sure they'll, they'll look I into feel like it. But if they if they did come out, it's like yeah, the most Blackout. anticipated Call of Duty ever, and by anticipated meaning you guys would not stop bitching about it. Right. I'd want the I'd want the gore in World of War Two if they actually made it. Like Dude. bring it back, like blowing people's legs oh, off yeah. the and stuff. Like bring World it back. World War please. was the only Call of Duty where you could actually blow people's legs off in the multiplayer. Black Ops 2, you could do that in Zombies and in the campaign, but not in multiplayer. Well, I remember Black Ops, man. That was actually pretty gory. I remember the campaign. Uh, I got I got the game. I was playing one of the missions. And the next thing you know, I had to throw a grenade, and all these bodies went flying. But then there's one guy. Half of his body was on the floor. You can literally see the veins 
that's how detailed it was. The veins, and I had little kids over. I was thinking it's my my cousins something like that. They were over, and I'm just like, oh true. gosh, they better not see this. They walked in. They're like, what is that? I'm like, God, just don't look, just don't look. It's too, it was so it's descriptive. I mean, at least they didn't now. walk in on the part with the Nova Six exploding. Oh, uh, yeah. But I, just remember, I mean, I feel like Call of Duty has been straying away from the core of blood and gore because they know little kids play it. So, I mean, if they... I, I, yeah. I just wish they wouldn't keep going that path because you're just going to make your games like so... It's going to be like, we're going to be like shooting fucking I mean, like beans. Now they made it more... Into, like, yeah, Call of Duty they need to make offense. it like Battlefield. Battlefield Battlefield is all about swearing, violence. <laughs> I'm going to rip this guy new ass. In Advanced Warfare, they have a mode for paintball mode. I mean, yeah, Advanced Warfare has paintball mode, so because they know little kids play it. So I'm, I yeah, mean, well, at least they say fuck okay, in the campaign. Right. Freaking Infinity Infinity Ward are these, such pussies with stuff. that. They don't say shit. They don't say fuck. There was only one part of the campaign where it was a freaking EMP goes off in Washington D.C. and these choppers are falling out of the sky in MW2. And I know our dude's running away. He's like, he's like, whoa, EMP! Holy shit! And then all of a sudden, you just, you know, you <laughs> play Black Ops 2. Wood says the f word in every freaking sentence. It's like this time, the U.S. is innocent and no one fucking believes him. Yeah. Yeah, like the like, I just wish they stopped going down this like the the, the route. The path right of now, being a pussy. It's just like it's just gonna keep on getting like less and less of like how cold right. it's gonna be. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not even gonna it's just not even gonna be like fun anymore. Like obviously like everyone's still gonna play the multiplayer and like all the uh, professionals are still gonna like play like the MLG and stuff. Have like the MLG tournaments and stuff, but. Like it just won't be enjoyable just to have like a, just a casual just multiplayer. Yeah, I remember. Friends and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. You continue. Because Mortal Kombat, oh, man. Oh like, my god. The, the, yeah. Every oh, year, it just you're not every year, but freaking is every game just gets gorier and gorier and gorier. Not that I'm 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 a creep or anything, and I like just seeing blood and guts all the time. It's just it's just like a yeah, really a like, realistic nice detail feel to it. Yeah. Add to the game. I'm gonna yeah, be straight got... up. I'm 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 a huge fan of gore when it comes to like a specific extent but if if there's like a call of duty where i could like literally like start ripping a dude's face off like i mean like literally ripping his face off to where you see the freaking <laughs> bone you see his skull and he's screaming his ass off and stuff like that <laughs> because he's in pain uh, i will probably i will probably thank whoever made that call of duty again future psychopath like, they, they, right not, here. it's just it's not, not. It's not that it's just like creepy and shit. It's just like they know that the, the the developers actually just took their time. They actually wanted to take that much much of their time to put that much detail right. into a game. That that just makes it like. I mean, I guess like we're gonna to make it very detailed on how you murder someone. Have you guys seen the uh, Conan video where he uh, like plays with like two football people, or yeah, from America? Oh, yeah, oh, I don't know who else is watching. Uh, yeah, they those. were playing Mortal Kombat, and then hey, you know how you can like do like some X-ray moves and stuff. Then you bring that to Oh, me. man. That would, <laughs> that would be so intense. I should be able to I remember one, on someone. one of them, uh, one of the moves was punching a girl's vagina, and you could literally, it literally zoomed in. Well, not zoomed in, but it was, like, you could see through it. It was like a whole bunch of muscles, and they, it, the reaction was just so funny. <laughs> whole bunch I, of I was just muscles, and then, like, the Conan just, like, literally uh, curled up into a baby and just lied on the floor. And it, it was so funny, but... I think Mortal Kombat really knows that their audience likes blood and gore, and that it's not. It's just violence. Like Americans, like we, like Americans, they're, they're obviously like the most, like the highest country that uh, that buy yeah, video games. Buy and, like I could be wrong. Right. Yeah, we 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 kind of America! love violence. Like I'm not like a violent Fuck person. Yeah. Like I'm pretty, I'm, I'm a pretty chill person. But like violent, like playing violent games, like obviously not. Yeah, in my yeah. Life, that's a, a, playing video games is a lot better than doing that than actual people. I was but, really, I I loved uh, how they in, how they changed the whole assassination thing in Halo. I know this is kind of off topic from you know Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty game. But when when Reach came out. They said something about assassinations because everybody liked to assassinate people in, in Halo 3. Well, what they did was they literally made the animation of you pulling somebody back and either stabbing their throat, breaking their neck, breaking their right, yeah, yeah. back, that cool. everything. Smart that I time. loved. I mean, I mean, I thought it was freaking violent, the fact that, you know, you got a little grunt running away from you who's terrifying. You walk up to him, you either stab him in the face or you just snap his neck. Yeah, like stuff like that. Like, it's not that. It's not that. Like, 
obviously like the developers have like twisted fucking I'd, minds. I'd or anything, be very good at developing it, how you murder someone. They're 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 they're, pl- they're giving the giving what the public wants because majority of obviously I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna say, I'm not gonna say that but uh like people that play video games and that who are American <laughs> they kind of like they, they love oh violence. yes they, they everyone like most Americans just love violence that's that's just who we are I just I don't, I don't know why <laughs> we love violence like. Like I said, I'm not a violent person, but playing like a pretty violent video game, if I'm like playing like some like some uh some Dragon Ball Z, and I'm just like completely just brutalizing some dude in the freaking in the ground, that shit's pretty no, funny. Yeah, yeah. I would I <laughs> Call of Duty, they, they just keep drifting I think, I think away. It's well, 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 well. Remember okay. the remember the one. Sorry, but remember the one thing that we talked about that one time from uh, Advanced Warfare campaign where you had the grapple and you ripped the dude out of the freaking Goliath suit. You slam his face <laughs> into the concrete, <laughs> dude. Uh, I uh, uh, I was uh, freaking uh, out, and laughing my ass off at that. I was like, that was the best kill I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. I had to get my dad. Oh, I had to get my wild. dad into the freaking room to see it tearing someone out of the thing and then like because it, 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 it'll follow the animation wherever you go so you could be in grass and it's just like the animation oh no concrete. but just the fact that you're ripping a dude out of a mechanical suit grabbing his head and then it goes into slow motion and then you slam his face into the ground they need more game that's what they need more in call of duty like i should be able to yeah know, like like they're they, call of duty should just add assassinations think- into their game oh. like that is like I think it's because why we like um, like that Halo Reach assassinations and like that kill in Advanced Warfare is because the things that we can't do. I mean, you can't you can't literally you can't assassinate someone with a knife and in a freaking like suit and from behind. So I think it's just that part of that aspect of just like yeah satisfaction. Like oh, I can't believe I just did that. I want to do it again and again. So they like implementing that. So I think that's why one of the experiences these- in like the uh, Advanced Warfare is why we like it so much and or in Halo Reach. So yeah. All the all these developers are oh, just, God. They're just creating our, the next generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, no. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder we're if, the, I wonder if like game developers it. like go to the most crazy, violent murderers in history. They go to. They go to a saint, insane asylum. Like how? Did, how would you? How would you like good? us to use? You know, maybe some of your creepy ass thoughts that you like to think of because you know you're a creepy son of a bitch, uh, and use that in a video <laughs> game because we want to make it make it very violent. Like well, first yeah. you need to take a knife and start slitting the nutsack open, and then you need to put it on the body so that it can make a coat, so that when it gets cold out, it shrinks. <laughs> you gotta use the you gotta use the force. Like, you, like your can bond hard just looks mm-hmm. up slowly. Thanks. Th- thank you very much. Dude, just get some prison rack. You're kind of scaring me, you know, buddy. Me. It's called I watch a lot Who of TV. Is. I got that from <laughs> South Park. Uh, okay, Randy yeah. had, when Randy had testicular <laughs> cancer. Fucking South Park. Oh my god. Uh. Well, so you guys out. would want to like a World War Two or Black Ops Three? Which one would you guys go for? I'm going. I'm going with World War Two. It's not. It's. It's a very low chance. I'm not going to be like completely. It's like, oh, it can happen. It can. Don't say that. Don't be so negative about it. It can. It can happen. But I, I can tell it's obviously not going to happen because I don't know why. Freaking Bondahar, we're just continuing. He's too busy patching. He's trying to figure out how to war, patch our snipers again. Well, okay, say it wasn't any of those uh, two options. They make a complete new game. It's like blows both of them out of the water. Just like, yeah, I actually, we actually made Iron Wolf this this time, bitches. Well, it's like, but what it happened to Black like, Ops like, Three and World War like Wolf. during World of War Two? Uh, yeah, well, what happened to you? Stop being a little bitch. Well, what would you guys want besides World of War th- or yeah, World War Two, Black Ops Three? Like, which time era? Like, I know you well, said medieval stuff and stuff. Well, but like, if you take into consideration of how I Black guess. Ops Two went, I guarantee that, I guarantee that Black Ops Three would probably be the same. But you know, with Trey, with Treyarch, they like to the use they like to use actual you know factual stuff, but they like to you know twist it a little bit because you know right. there's some yeah. of it that doesn't actually happen because. You know, the KGB didn't actually have a poisonous gas that would, you know, murder everybody. It was actually, you know, nuclear <laughs> weapons. But anyway, um, uh, my thought of it is, how's the story gonna be? And they're gonna continue with Black Ops Two. But are we gonna are we gonna have like another thing where it's like, hey, it's like, hey, Woods, can you tell me about that one time. Menendez actually didn't <laughs> yeah, Menen- die. Yeah, Menendez isn't isn't actually dead. And you're probably gonna die too. He's like a he's like yeah, a cyborg. You no, know, we blow him up, and all of a sudden, that'd be fucking scary. Well, yeah, you know he did have that one eye. I mean, that can't explain shit, but he still, he's like, 
You see him like he no, they can't he comes back and he's like Snake from freaking um This is Menendez. Not Snake, Do you though. read me, Otacon? <laughs> what's his face? Uh shit, what's his face? God damn, I can't remember his name. From uh Metal Gear. Metal Gear. The the cyborg dude. Oh what's cyborg Nin Oh Raiden. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what Menendez oh my looks God. like. Oh god. Jesus scary. Christ, Raiden's <laughs> huge, dude. <laughs> He's like, dang, dang, dang. If he pulls like out a sword, I'm done. Like, he pulls out a sword, I'm done. Dude, we should have <laughs> swords in the next car. That'd be pretty tight. No, he he would pull out that. He would pull out his little cross that used to cut freaking uh, what's uh freaking uh Woods' neck like the Jesus alternate Christ. ending. He, he he pulls that out and it's like and it, and it turns into like that uh it ha it turns into a sword, but it turns into like that to, to, to like a like the blades come out on like all sides of the cross like it did on uh the Star what? Wars trailer. That's what it does. He's like, dang. Did it. It's like, oh shit, is that Menendez? <laughs> it's like, I'm back. It's like, oh my god, is that Menendez? Son of a bitch. <laughs> they try to kill him and they, they go up to him. Like, one of like the randoms, like, it's like the Carmine from Gears of War. Like, it's always that yeah. dude that always dies. And like, he goes up there and then he tries to stop him. He, like, he, he tries to punch him. The dude just, Menendez just like, grabs his fist and just like breaks his I want to be off. able to use vehicles in in the next Call of Duty. Come on. That's something. That, that's like a that's like a simple thing that they need. Freaking mm. Treyarch did, they Treyarch did yeah, it yeah. in World at War and then they started to do it a little bit more in freaking, uh, they started to do it a little more in um, Black Ops and then they kind of didn't really do it in Black Ops 2. I mean, well, I mean you know, it, AGR. Do you, but... do you mean vehicles as in like, not part of kill streaks, but like, um, like vehicles that are part of the either, map either on the map or they're a kill streak. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Because I like, yeah, cause I, I did so, like, I did, like, I did really, I did like flying the hind in the campaign. But dude, that jet in Black Ops Two, I was crashing into so many buildings, I couldn't. It's like, it's like you, you know, to. one of the challenges is to complete the mission with one hundred percent without dying. And uh, I can't do that. I'm sorry, Treyarch, if you ever if you ever hear this. That mission is too hard to do, and I was playing that shit on, you know, <laughs> the, the second easiest difficulty just because I wanted to get it done. That shit was difficult, okay? That was just horrible. I mean, it's like I, it's like I turn, it's like I barely move my stick, and I'm looking at Jesus. <laughs> well, see, I don't play campaign. <laughs> is that weird? I like campaign. I only play multiplayer and zombies. I never play campaign. That's the one thing. Zombies is a campaign. So you are playing the campaign. That's the one thing. That's the one thing Call of Duty knows how to do zombies. correct. Like every year is well, except Ghost. Except Ghost. We're not gonna talk about Ghost. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go. It's go, it goes from Black Ops to to uh, COD Advanced Warfare. There's no no COD. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what COD Ghost is. Yeah. No, Why are we talking about uh, ghosts? Call, Call Duty, what are ghosts? They, why, and what does it have to do with they Call don't of Duty? Do their campaigns. Every every Call of Duty campaign I've played, oh, yeah. it's been great. Like that's the one thing that they know how, they've known how to do. I except just like the except the Ghost campaign know, pissed you how. off so much. That was funny the way. It was bullshit, <laughs> and it's never. And I'm ne and I'm I'm never gonna freaking get a sequel to it because they're probably never gonna make Ghost Two because fucking Infinity Ward probably they. they, they I got the game. Like, I played it I'm once. Sorry. and I never put the disc back in my Xbox again. So I don't God. know what you guys are talking about. Fucking. Goddamn Poseidon at the end of the game. Freaking shoot this dude in the chest. He still comes out of the water. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, seriously. <laughs> who the fuck are you? <laughs> who the God fuck are you? Uh. <laughs> yeah, but going back to vehicles, I kind of like the vehicle That's idea. I mean, I get. Have you guys played Destiny before? Um, Destiny has, like, vehicles on certain maps that you can use. Um, Halo, Sparrow, Battlefield. My little, my, little speed, my little speeder. Yeah, so pretty much all the game, games, the other major games, they don't get like, it. Of of uh, attention. Nowadays. All the major games that aren't getting as much as Call of Duty that are actually better than Call of Duty actually use vehicles. Hell, I don't even know how Halo would be if it didn't have vehicles. That shit would be boring. Yeah, I'm dude. Boring. I mean, I mean, like, I'm like, I'm, 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 like, I'm fine with, simulator. like, I'm fine with there, you know, being maps to where it's like strictly there are no vehicles and it's just for gunfights. But like, say you put me on a big ass map, you know, you put me on Sand Trap. If there wasn't a vehicle on Sand Trap, Ooh, hell, if, there weren't ant, if there weren't ants who constructed a freaking, you know, stick that made it actually move like a vehicle, if there wasn't even that, I probably wouldn't even play it. I like the uh, Halo 3 vehicle, um, where, oh, I forget what it's called, like, it's really, it's like called an elephant, I think it's something yeah, like that. Yeah, elephant. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. all of you guys can, like, sit in there and, like, bring your vehicles in. And that, I, I really like that. I don't know why. I like the Easter egg when you flip it. It says, hold X to flip, wait, how did you... Wait, how the hell did you do that? 
<laughs> no, I always thought that was funny, but yeah, like, Halo 3 was good. Um, you guys keep like, you guys keep better. talking about the topic. About I need vehicles. to go use the restroom and then inform me what you were talking about. I'll be right back. I am about to uh, explode. Meet your mic. Wolves. That's so Asian. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know. Back to since Fizzrek left. Um, when you're talking about the vehicles, um, I was watching a review yeah. of uh, Modern War Negro. He was talking okay. about Evolve. Yeah. What is Evolve? I'm a little confused about what is Evolve. Evolve is it's made by Valve. Okay. That if you don't know who Valve is and made that okay. for head and stuff. But Evolve is like a like it has a campaign and stuff, has multiplayer. It's basically a like there's like a mode on the, I forgot I don't I don't know the mode. I haven't like really looked into it that much, but um there's four hunters. Four hunters. And their job is to like they're like they have like specific classes. There's like the Almost tracker, died. The uh but that was fast. Yeah, you wanted me to be here, so I'm and, I'm gonna um, participate. Well, we're just talking about evolve. Um, oh. evolve, and there's one per uh, there's four hunters, and one person is the monster, and the monster job is obviously to um, either kill all the hunters or destroy the reactor that goes to something. It's like okay, it's like a like a weird game of like I guess like capture the flag, and like or like not capture the flag, but hide and seek basically, because um, some of the monsters can go like camouflage and. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool game. Like it's not a bad game. It's All right, just really so weird. Your, your point. And that's the uh back to what I was saying. For Modern War Negro is saying that if um you don't have like any like uh communication with your team or anything, like you, it's basically a walking simulator. Mm -hmm. There's no vehicles. You're just walking. The Wait, time. is this set in the future, Evolve, so, yeah. or like you're like on a planet? Uh, like, planet okay. and, uh, you, basically, basically it, it, we're doing what uh normal Americans do and we colonize places that we want and that's what the place uh, I up. see we call like, hey this is a nice place you live in it's mine now bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's basically how especially what the game is Native yeah, Americans have been stuck in terrorism since uh, since 1492 <laughs> but that was a little off topic but not not what you said Fisher, but what I was oh mine was completely but, um, off topic <laughs> but I guess we can move on to, I guess, like, the other part of the topic is question for, I guess, all of us and anyone that's watching this or will watch it in the future. Um, will COD Black Ops 3 or COD World at War 2 be bad? Mm. Or even exist. Or even, yeah. One's gonna, one of them's gonna exist. Mm, or I think about it. At least all right, well, let's... Are they gonna be bad? Are they gonna follow up with... Like for example, with Black Ops Two, are they is, is oh, uh, Trey, are they gonna follow think... up with not, not not the story, but like are they gonna follow up their game style? Like are they gonna keep like the same style and just like enhance mm -hmm. the graphics a little bit, or are they just gonna like completely? You know, I think it? I heard um, I forget who which YouTuber. I think they said tr this is uh, the Treyarch's first game. They're spending three years in development. So I, I mean, coming from Advanced Warfare, three years. So I'm hoping maybe I'm gonna have too uh, having too much high expectations for the next call, but I. I'm pretty sure, or at least I'm hoping it would be as good as Advanced Warfare, or even better. I stopped having high expectations for COD after Ghost. I well, I, well I, I, I actually looked something up that, um, you know how, you know how the CGI and the cutscenes for Advanced Warfare are just amazing and it looks very real. Oh like, yeah, dude, those are good. Realistic and shit. Did you know that? Did you know that they actually use that in Black Ops 2 as well? You didn't look that well, good. I, th I thought there was some. There was. No I felt it was serious. similar. Well, yeah, dude. You're talking about. You're talking about a three-year difference. But I'm saying that Black Ops Two, you know, Treyarch actually did it, and then Sledgehammer actually followed in their footsteps. There's a lot of stuff. There's a, if you actually kind of actually if you kind of think about it, if you compare Black Ops, if you compare Black Ops Two to uh, Advanced Warfare, that was my like minus you know yeah, minus yeah, yeah. you know minus the jumping around and stuff like that. They're 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 a very oh, they're a lot yeah, of similarities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Black Ops 2. yeah, yeah. That leads me to my next point actually. Yeah. So I feel like it would also be kind of bad for the next COD because it's not going to have exosuits because we're so used to exosuits now. I mean, or or would they keep those? That's what I'm saying. Like, if are they going to mm, continue with? That's true. Like what Black Ops 2 d did? Are they going to like to follow up with something different? Like, are we going to get exosuits in fucking Black Ops 3 or <laughs> exosuits in World of War <laughs> fighting World War 2? <laughs> Like, what Got the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's the bones of my... I mean, it's an exosuit. Bones of my... 
but see, like, see, actually actually that like, that is a weird, good though. point because you know because that, that I mean that's just like me playing Halo without you know armor abilities because I was always a big Halo I would always play Halo 3 dude I love Halo 3 and uh, when Reach came out, they introduced uh, they introduced armor abilities replacing equipment that you'd find on the map. Then they expanded on that with Halo Four, and they made it they made more they made other ones that are a lot more effective and stuff like that. Well, in Halo Five, you don't have armor abilities anymore. They're removing mm. armor abilities, you only get one of them. You only get the thruster pack, so that you can evade, you can you know get an extra speed boost if you need it and stuff like that. And when I was playing it, it did it did feel very, 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 very different. But the feel of it reminded me of old of you know the old Halo experience. You know, yes, there was yes there was all these all new mechanisms and you know sprinting, mantling, you know callouts and stuff like that. But it felt like I was playing, you know, old Halo that I loved. And I don't know how people are gonna react if the next Call of Duty doesn't have, you know, exosuits. You're, you're cutting out a bit. You might want to move a little closer to the mic. Oh, that's because mine's on. My, oh, I'm sorry. That's that's because mine was on my head because I was eating crackers. Sorry. Um, but anyway, you know. You cannibal. Yeah, you know, I just love eating white people. I love eating <laughs> those racist white fucks. Anyway. Um. Uh. God. Because, you know, the transition from, you know, like a big, you know, from a big change in a game to, you know, removing that change. I mean, that's, 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 that's huge. And I know I said, and I know I said that, I know I said that a couple of times right there, but that's because, you know, we've all been through that. We've all we gone, we've all played again. a game that had a huge change that impacted the way we played the game. And they yeah. stripped it from us. It's like, like my, like my weird analogy is about cripple people. It's like you're giving a man a wheelchair and then you take it away. Like, uh, gave you. It, like my legs broke. Yeah, you true. gave me a hover chair. I thought it was awesome. You took my hover chair away. You gave me a wheelchair. I just looked at you. You dicks. <laughs> Especially, uh, I'm. That'd be. I guess I'd be down for. I mean, uh, um, I, I, from. For me, suits. for me, for me, suits did, def did def around. yeah, definitely need to find a new like age of like COD, but I it was def it's definitely gonna be a letdown for a lot a lot of people for the next card if they don't include it, and I don't. Well, if they don't like it, they can go back and exactly. play. They can suck That's sledgehammers left and or right nut at the same time. That or or middle. He forgot the middle or, uh, one. Oh yeah. That. <laughs> That'll be Vondahar's reply to um, uh, freaking people that are that, like Vondahar. Where the fuck are my complain, exosuits? Where the about no fuck exosuits? is your mother when she's supposed to be on my dick, bitch? <laughs> he says it in that <laughs> yeah. voice. Because <laughs> like, I mean, bitch. like no, no one like not many people like change, and especially in a COD. But, and it's not they haven't like for exosuits. They didn't. No one thought. I don't think anyone thought exosuits was gonna be. People hated the exactly. idea of exosuits before the game even came out. They were like, "That's just fucking stupid. That shouldn't be in the game." And then, like when they play, yeah. Like, so I feel like people feel are like already hating on it too too early, for or too are judging the game. I mean, too fast. I mean, this is just our own opinion. So obviously, we're judging, people, we're judging it been. too. But we're just stating facts that have been. We just been noticing things. I especially, yeah. People been fucking judging COD since like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For years. They were they judging, they were judging, judging Call of Duty before it was even made. I mean, they're pre-coming already, so, so yeah. It's like, did you guys hear about... It's like, I knew, it's like, I knew how Ghost was going to be before it before it even was announced. Dude, I hey, had did you hear so about, many... It's like, did you hear that they're making another Call of Duty game. called Ghost? It's going to suck. I had so many high expectations for Ghost. I really thought it was going to be the best COD ever. Biggest letdown of my life. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm surprised the Vondahar doesn't go to like the, the fucking like Infinity War. I'm surprised why he, uh, I'm surprised why he isn't. Just, just look, look at him like. You know, he like walks up to. Like, you know, he like no, walks like up to him and he like, like puts his no. back. Or he puts his hand on his back. You know, he's like patting. He's like, you done fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked you up. were smoke. Like, you were no smoking idea. during the pregnancy. And look how the baby <laughs> came. No offense uh. to the, no offense to anybody who's pregnant right now. Freaking Vondahar just walks in and he's like. Proud of yourself? He's like, he's like the different Finny Ward dudes crying like, no, <laughs> think so. He's like, I'm sorry. Too late now. You didn't fucked it up. Fucked up, you stupid bitch. 
He, he walks out, like Von Harsoli walks out. Infinity War dude's like, no, don't leave me. He just keeps walking. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, I can't over, Young. I can't hear you over the sound of, you fucked up! <laughs> yeah, but, I, I, got, I guess I could trust Von Harsoli. He seems like a, a nice bald gentleman. Well, I mean, will work one I day. think that, uh, cause the topic is also, um, saying if it, it's a, if it's a yay or nay thing. So, I mean, we already kind of answered will it be either good or bad, but do you guys agree that they should make World at War 2 or Black Ops 3? Like, yes, we mentioned like it will be good or stuff, but do you think they should? My, I have an idea. What if, I know, I know, um, they, they could do this. It's, it's a possibility, but... What if, since you know, Sledgehammer has obviously fucking changed Call of Duty for like, like it, it just impacted Call of Duty like extremely mm. now that they've added all this shit into they their They copied game. so many things but, from other games that people are like, oh my god, am I playing Call of Duty? Yeah. But what if, Treyarch, what if they tried to top that? Like not going into like the future wise, like going like this extremely, going like the the year Call 4000. Call of Duty superheroes. Like, <laughs> Call of Duty on like, that, some other planet. There's actually, there's actually a Call of Duty. Uh, there's actually a Call of Duty uh, mobile game called Call. Oh of Duty. yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, that. no, I'm meaning like you get to like your class. Like each weapon of your class is based on like what superpower you want. Batman shit. Batman. Yeah, you know, you got Superman. big ass berserkers running Go around and shit. You got the flash just <laughs> zooming around the whole map. <laughs> but, yeah, like, so what if somebody just steals the flag? Is like, hey man, I need you to go get the flag. All right, <laughs> oh, the game's over. Oh, okay. It's, it's just over. <laughs> so, like, what if Treyarch? What if they like just try to go above and beyond what? Um, I think that's what every has COD done. has been trying to do. Like, they try to go above and beyond. They think they're doing something great, but they're not too sure until the community tries it out. Yeah. Well, I'm, new, I'm just going to say, yeah, I'm just gonna say that animation. Infinity Ward, if you're watching this, I honestly don't give a shit how you feel. You suck ass. <laughs> they, they went, they you went, went downhill, down, dude. Uh, uh, they, tried to, they tried to go above and beyond, and they slipped on a banana peel. And fell down they broke the their bottom. legs. Yeah, they're never, they're never they never tripped on the cord of a ever. cordless phone and hit their head on the side. Yep, that's what happened. Because I'm not, I'm not sure what um, Vondahar could do. Um, he could... Like, Vondahar, like, he's, like, the only one. Like I know there's, like, head executives of, like, Treyarch's corporation, but we all know Vondahar rule, runs that mm -hmm. shit. We yeah. all know the bald man runs the runs the runs the I think what also makes her. a I think what also makes a good COD is because not just <laughs> not just campaign not just multiplayer not just zombies. Brain, we 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 already have some information. We know that there's going to be theater mode. Now. Hallelujah. Theater mode in the game for like the theater mode hasn't been right. in the game since like yeah, yeah. we need years theater now. mode because I don't the reason they the, the reason they took it out is because it reduces that's lag. That's like all they that's all they do because your since your game's not constantly being recorded, you get an Elgato. Your game doesn't lag right. before though, God. So. Um, Get sponsored by. Anyways, I kind of like not, not only do multiplayers, but um, I also like going to private matches and just playing with like random people on our own custom game modes. Like, I remember back in Modern Warfare 3, we all did all or nothing. And that was just a private match only game mode. But now, they, since they implemented it into multiplayer, they really listen to the community. So I think if they, if we really had like custom game modes in our own private matches, um, in uh, the next COD, that would be awesome. And then maybe if they could implement it, I don't know, that would be kind of cool. That's just my opinion, because I really liked All or Nothing. I still do, but I don't know. Yeah, because, like, I miss going into, like, I miss, like, having, like, the theater mode where I can go into private match and, like, we can have, like, our quick scope battles and, like, I can record it and we act like Batman jumping what off the, uh, jumping off, like, any, like the high. We're doing the fish thing with the ballistic the knives. To people. <laughs> oh, yeah, mm -hmm. fishing it. Oh, that was yeah. great. Like we can't like we can't do stuff like that anymore. It's because uh, there's a I can't point out when stuff. my character looks like he found a penny. <laughs> <laughs> that picture is great. But, like, I also like the glitches in private matches. Those are just fun in general. Like I don't, I don't, I don't Oh even yeah, know Sledgehammer. Why. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna interrupt you real fast. Hey Sledgehammer, if you're watching this. Can you please fix the stupid Detroit glitch? There were some assholes who were outside the map on Detroit. Either oh. that or I was either either uh, it was that. either. 
they were glitching again, or it was just me dreaming, because I swear to God, I had a dream last night about me being outside of Detroit. I remember on, on, that, on the map Solar, everyone goes on top of that one building and just stands there and just snipes people in midair. You know that one? I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna say this. This is probably gonna piss. I hate snipers. I, it won't piss. It. It, it won't. It, you read my mind. Wait, what do you say? You read my fucking mind. Um, like I told you, Asian. I'm. I'm probably the but. Oh biggest yeah, yeah. Fucking. Um. I, I'm the biggest against snipe. Like I swear to God. Like when I told you, like I get sniped in every game. Yeah. I fucking mean it, dude. Like it's. It happens every time. Every time playing fucking Destiny get sniped. I could be playing fucking check <laughs> check and get sniped. I could be it playing happens. with my dick and I get sniped. Didn't you say you? Didn't anything. you say like I, mean, I, I could be playing NASCAR and I get sniped? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, NASCAR get sniped out of my car, dude. Dude, I swear to God, like I, I don't, I don't even bullshit. But, like I've played, I've played so many games, and like there's always something that resembles like a sniper, and like people just use it, just like they just abuse the shit out of it, like by camping in the back of the map or something. And I just, God, it just pisses me off. Right. But, this is this is a message to you, Treyarch. You probably will never see this podcast ever unless like I don't know some like. Big YouTuber or something that they freaking like say, oh, I'll check this out. And then you may you may take a look at it. But if you actually take a look at this, listen to me, please. Take snipers out of the game. Screw with those people that trick shot. Don't listen to them. Just or, well, them. well, you know, you know, they don't have to remove. They don't have to remove snipers, but do it like what Battlefield does. I don't. I think there's only one sniper in Battlefield that is. Uh, there's only, I think there's only one sniper in Battlefield that's actually one shot, and I believe that's I believe that's the one that looks like the Barrett. I mean, it's not the Barrett, but it looks like it. it's called, I think it's the M80 so, or yeah, the M98. Say, so and and uh, basically and but that 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 is like the last sniper you get, and it depends on how far away you are. It depends on if you're using a suppressor, a flash hider, or anything. It depends on how how your gun is customized. Is so how, you're saying is if you're gonna shoot if if that one bullet is literally gonna drop the dude. So you're saying a sniper should be more realistic in COD instead of just just quick well, scoping. I wouldn't say. I, I, I get, well, no, I get no, 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 saying, no, no, but... because a majority of the snipers in in Battlefield are. Are, are two shots to kill or three shots to kill. And that's even going with the bolt action ones. I mean, if you can actually hit a dude with... It, I think it basically just depends on where you hit him. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's change it up a bit. Let's just, just, just write, erase what I just said, and we'll just put it into this, this into, uh, I guess, comparison. Um, do, what, do what Sledgehammer did, and they added a snipers only game mode, but do that for, like, other guns. Not just snipers. Like make it work where there's only like there's only this, only, like, right, uh, only or only only riot shields that'd be pretty fun. That'd be pretty. <laughs> I, mean, weird I, I, I love riot shields. You couldn't kill him. You just walk up to him and you beat him People, to death. Or I, I just if they're camping in a corner, you can't do anything. They'll be sitting I mean, there. Guys, not if you throw a grenade at them. I mean, it's riot shields. Only, you guys man. know there who Swifter no is on YouTube? Yep. Yeah. It's yeah, I mean, I really like his. I like his channel because of his originality and his different type of game modes he makes. I mean. It's just fun to watch like him play with di different um, game modes. I mean, uh, for example, he did this one like Mario like one where it's you you have you're on a platform and you just have to kill the person while jumping up while like stopping them. So I mean that's just fun to watch. And then like another one like I mean all these different types of game modes are just fun because they're original. Or they, or they could that's a, that's another idea COD could use instead of taking it from other games. Why don't you add like a uh, like a like a uh, like a mode or something that people allows people to make Ooh. their own game modes and stuff or their own or their own maps. That'd be something oh, so you can like take Halo. from me. I won't sue you for it. Like I can't merge in Halo. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna say the exact same thing. Yeah, because you can make your own game mode. Like you should do that shit. Like add the theater mode and shit. <laughs> there you That'd go. Be you got so the much right fun, game. dude. I remember in Halo Reach, uh, Splatter Monkey. Did you guys heard of that? Splatter Monkey. I played Speed. I, I remember speed. Indiana Jones maps. Not the drug, fun. the game mode. <laughs> and do you guys remember Indiana Jones ba uh, maps all the way back in Halo Reach? Those were the oh, best. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Indiana Jones originated in fucking Halo Three, dude. Really? I never. Oh, okay. Mhm. Mm Maybe it was too noobish, Indiana, but I remember Halo Reach. Indiana I just had Jones? to run away from the kill ball, and just, <laughs> just obstacles were in the way. That was that was a good times. I remember. Oh. See stuff like that, like they need to implement that in Call of Duty, like because that would that would, that would be game be breaking, yeah. And I think, yeah, like freaking, like, own like map, map and game mode creator and stuff like that. Make 
Make it just like obviously there's no fucking teleporters like in Halo, yeah. but still you could you could do you could do some pretty fun shit. Yeah, you know, that's a really good idea. Quality. I really think they should implement that. Rather, I'm glad they kind of brought that up. You know, I really think it'll be great. But I don't think they'll do it though, because <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe next Call of Duty. You know, yeah, one thing that one thing that really disappointed me in her, tell us, it, man. It, it was it was. You? It was it was last it was last night. Devin overheard me last night. playing um, private match. And okay. I was playing against some AIs. I think it's a cool idea that you know that you can get a basically a nuke score streak and or kill streak in Call of Duty based on how many based on a specific number of kills and what you do. One hundred kills allows you to have allows you to spawn Satan. <laughs> I was gonna say like a giant robot. Okay. Hey, well, that. anyway, but but no, it's, it's just it's just Voltron. it's just you know, uh, Modern Warfare Two. You had a nuke and it ended the game. Modern Warfare right. Three. You had a Moab, and that and it made your it made your fucking screen all hazy like you just been doing. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then Treyarch didn't uh, didn't continue that. And I was playing, I was playing Profit Match last night, and I finally got a DNA bomb, and I'm like, ooh, sweet, I'm gonna activate this. I freaking activated it, just a timer went off, so my screen just went green, and then nothing else happened, I'm just like, <laughs> that was a waste of fucking time. That was just I, yeah. a huge waste of time. I feel like, I feel like they kind of, I, I wish the game ended, like Modern for 2 nukes. Those, I love... I didn't really? Like the game, you know, it was it was okay. It was okay. Like if I was like fucking like just losing tremendously, like I, I'd want it. You know, like I don't want the rape anymore. <laughs> I really like it right the now. Nuke. I don't know. But if I'm just like going ham or something, and then like some some asshole that's like just like doing like a lot better than me, or like some people on the other team just happen to get a nuke and they end the game, uh, that's that's some bullshit. But they should just like, keep it how it was on Marvel Three, where it just like killed everyone and just well, I don't make the game all fucking hazy. That was weird and. Kind of mess my hey guys, I got a Moab and it explodes. All of a sudden, you start hearing smoke weed every day. <laughs> 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 That's a, uh, then smoke oh, like, weed no, every just, day. You, Sorry. You just hear, you just hear like the, the you hear like the da 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 like this slowly. You'll slowly hear it gets louder and louder as like the new, as the Moab slowly falls down. Oh, why so it hits the ground. It starts playing yeah, the smoke. Yeah, no, it explodes and it plays that. <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> smoke weed ever. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> like they like they should they should keep it uh just keep like the Moab yeah. effect and stuff. But not the fucking goddamn hazy bullshit. Like obviously that you could like add like another you can't keep the same name as just like Moab because oh you don't you gotta keep you gotta have some originality. Maybe when the maybe when they drop like the special kill streak or whatever, uh, it turns like everyone's player like the, the enemy's player models into like something stupid or Although something. Although I did notice like I did notice like last the, night that when I did everyone's player I did turns notice that last night when I turn when I did use the DNA bomb that everybody started having green ooze coming out of their body. Maybe it doesn't have the paintball effect. Maybe it had a paintball effect on it. That's AIDS. It's AIDS? That's what AIDS does to yeah. you. Damn. Okay. Glaucoma. Um, is that it? What about your dog? Does he have glaucoma? <laughs> Due date. Oh <laughs> I, guess, I guess we're wrapping up. I'm not sure, Devin. Yeah. It's all you, man. I don't think there's anything else we talked about. So we can come to conclusion now that we don't know when. We don't know when fucking. Or we obviously know there's gonna be theater mode. In the new the next Call of Duty, we don't know which Call of Duty is gonna be. Could be fucking Black Ops Three. Could be fucking World War. Uh, right. Could be too. fucking could Indians. Be fucking, fucking Revolutionary War. Call of Duty Psychological Warfare. They could just like completely like what if they just like um, fu they fucked with us and, and they, like and they came out. They were like, cause, like guys, this is like, what, like, what, like what, what, what do you do? We remastered Call of Duty One. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we just got like our mouths like open, just, just, just wide open. Like you're, they're like, you're welcome. All right. Like, I, yeah. It's just fucking. It's like it's just fucking gay. You fuckers, I didn't want this. I, I'm not sure. Like, oh, they add multiplayer to it. It's only, it's only no, they only add spec ops to it. Oh god. <laughs> I like spec ops. Yeah, spec ops was, was okay. cool. It's that bullshit freaking juggernaut challenge. 
Oh yeah, that was kind of No, I like but, no, I like the challenge. It was, it was just, it was just bullshit. It was hard. It wasn't hard. It was just bullshit. But yeah, it come. I stunned that juggernaut. I thought it's like to... use stun grenades to incapacitate or to help uh, kill juggernauts. I throw eight of them at him and it doesn't do anything. He eats ah. them. He's what like happens? A, it's like he picks it up. It's like, oh look, a stun grenade. That's a good stun grenade. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's a good stun grenade. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else to wrap, guys? I guess I'll see myself. But yeah, it comes to a conclusion. We don't know when the next Call of Duty, what, what the next Call of Duty is. We know We're just stating our opinions of the two most times. popular views. We we know when it comes out. It comes out in November every year, but we have to just wait until May when they all right. suck ass or not. Uh, when they when they when the first leaks with uh, all the bigger uh, Call of Duty YouTubers like Ali A and what's going on guys? Uh, what's going on guys? Ali A here. What's going on guys? Ali A here, and I just got some secret news that I happened to find on the internet. The freaking... It's not like Call of Duty gave it to me. What's going on guys? Tmar here, and today we got ourselves a brand new special video on a Call of Duty blank. Dude, he fucked. He fucked with me with it. He trolled the shit. I wouldn't consider troll me. He didn't troll me, but freaking he fucking. I guess fucking. Oh. I pranked the shit out of me or something. Where he like he's like. So I was doing some research, and you're in Fadget. The next Call of Duty. That the next Call of Duty is going to be Call of Duty Bald Ops, and I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Dude, like no. And the way he was talking about, it, like you have to see the video. The way he's talking about it, it looks like it could actually be legit. And then like he fucked me and said like. Uh, so, the next Call of Duty is going to be, like, he had, like, Call of Duty balled off. It's just, like, a picture of Vondahar's face and, like, a dude. And I was like, fucking big. I was like, god damn. Uh, uh, like, I was watching, I watched the entire video, too, and he's like, I'm just kidding, guys. I just trolled you. I was like, you didn't troll me. You just you pissed me off. It's like, like, funny. <laughs> I just trolled your but, dumb ass. You didn't troll me. You just made me <laughs> more bloodthirsty. Okay. And, All right. It's like, oh, fuck. Um... We don't, we, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've like said this like the third time. Like we don't know, we don't know what it's gonna be. I, I it could be fucking Iron Wolf. If they, if it does, that'd be amazing. Every time you say Call Iron Wolf, Iron for Wolf. some reason I think Iron Man. Call of, it's Call Iron of Duty Wolf. Iron Man. And we don't know. So what's everyone's opinion about it sucking or will it suck? I don't think I don't, I don't think, think it will. will. You know? Treyarch. Yeah. Treyarch, yeah. Treyarch sure knows. Yeah. Doing most of the time. I can, I could probably obviously piss off the community by patching um, a sniper a little bit and then getting death threats. Or, or, uh, that, that like was. That. I'm just gonna because, say. Uh, I'm yeah. just saying, you fucking fanboys, you, you need to calm the fuck down. All right. Jesus Christ, it's just a sniper. I think we're gonna end like it off. Right. Pa <laughs> but I need my trick scopes. Like, well, it's like it's like David Vonderhaar uh, murders your family and also eats your dog, uh, at making him into hot dogs, and then he patches your sniper. What are you more? It's like, what are you more uh, pissed off about? It's like that son of a bitch. He messed with my snipers. It's like you have All no, right. you, you don't even care that he, you know, murders He's... your family. Who? He's like, <laughs> he's like loading the gun as he says, going to go kill Vondor. But that wouldn't happen. You couldn't kill Vondor. The baldness. Yeah, you know, you shoot a bullet you. at him. The ball is bald head's freaking. <laughs> 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 you guys imagine that. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna end it off here. But yeah, that was, that was enough rambling. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much if you got this far. Thank you. You probably. No, I don't know. I, I watch podcasts all the time, and if you do, check us out. On SoundCloud, link will be in the description below. It's something something yeah. podcast on also, SoundCloud. Also, don't forget to check out these other channels. Out. Oh yeah, go check out. I'll, I'll leave it in the, when I upload this video to YouTube's. um my channel. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for Asian channel. Sup, sup, I'm new. He's on. He, he's close to four. Very plus. close. Which reminds me, up. um, quick, uh, look, quick uh, advertising here. I'm gonna be doing open lobby for my th 4,000 subscribers. I'll tweet that out and do a little video on that tomorrow or so. Heads I'll up. join you. All right. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching the Something Something podcast number number four. Yes. Four. I'm Fizzerack. I'm Ajane Six. And uh, we good. out. We out, son. Fuck that <laughs> no, 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 no. again. God damn it.